Hi, I'm Jeff from the EQB channel. Today we're going to talk about taking an electric vehicle out into the Australian countryside and how that's different from taking the equivalent petrol vehicle. Uh, I'm just new to YouTube so please like and subscribe and that might inspire me to make some more videos like this about the unique Australian EV experience. We're going to introduce a concept called the uh, Musk Line in the first four to five minutes of this video. And that is a mythical line where it's okay to take a EV inside that line, but once you go outside it, you're going to be presented with problems that are unique to electric vehicles. It's a really interesting video, so let's get right into it. Australia is dotted with many geo-social divisions, none more famous in the sporting world than the Barassi Line, which divided the country between Australian rules and rugby league football for almost all of the 20th century. South of the line, you loved AFL and hated league, north of the line, vice versa. We can apply the same logic to draw an imaginary line of where it's easy to drive and own an EV and where it's more difficult. Let's go. First, let's make it a basic assumption about EV ownership, that it's easier to drive an EV than a petrol car in the city because you always charge at home and you don't need external charging stations. Next, if you are within 50 or 100 kilometers of a fast charger, 75 kilowatts or more, then an EV is similar to a petrol car. As you can see, a natural boundary line emerges where DC charges run out as you head west, away from populated areas. If we were to take out the Tesla charges from this list, the picture looks really grim. Australia really is a third world country for charges, so it really is hard to justify a non-Tesla purchase at this time. What if we relax the fast charger to minimum 36 kilowatts, so we allow 45 minutes to one hour charging time? Out here, you might be relying on only one charger being operational and not already in use. It's a risk if you are out here for work or you have a restless young family. If the charger is down, you could be slow charging overnight at a hotel. Let's take a look at Queensland. As you can see, if you hug the coast, you'll be fine. If you head inland, you're in trouble. Over in the west, it's a similar story, all fine if you travel between Geraldine and Albany, but anywhere else is going to be tough. Tassie actually has a good coverage of charges, but a lot of these are single use and single instant charges, so it's a little bit of a risk travelling around Tassie. As I said before, Australia is a bit of a third world country when it comes to charges, so let's go look at an advanced nation and we'll choose California and we'll zoom right into sort of Palm Springs area. It's about 100 k's between Riverside and Palm Strings, the same distance as, say, Mildura to the South Australian border, and there'd be at least a dozen charging stations there. So we can now plot the muscle line. Inside the line, EVs can travel very easily and quickly recharge in the time it takes for a toilet stop, a cup of coffee, and a walk around the block. The next line is the Edison line. Fast charges are available, but they are a risk, so proceed with caution. You can go beyond this line of course, but you are looking at 4-5 to five hour charging times at wall plugs or destination charges. So now that we have the must line, we know where it's easy and hard to take an EV. So let's make a trip past the must line. We're going to start in Sydney and head to a small town called Finlay in western New South Wales. Most of the trip will be inside the must line there and down the Hume Highway which is a major freeway between Melbourne and Sydney. Therefore charging is easy and abundant. As you can see from this enhanced view of PlugShare, uh, there are not any fast chargers or charging options in the two towns we want to stay at, Finlay and Tokemore. There is however a NRMA fast charger up at Geraldry and that's what we're going to base our trip around. Come in and charge at Geraldry, do our tripping around Finlay and Tokemore, and then go back to Geraldry to charge up again to return to the other side of the Musk line. So let's start using a better route planner to plan our trip from Sydney to Finlay for the first part of the journey. 
We've got to select our vehicle, so a little bit of housekeeping to get our uh, better route planner set up for our car and the Australian settings. So we're a long range on 19 inch wheels. We're starting off in the suburb of Taramara in Sydney. There it is. And we're going to go to the town of Finlay. This is, this is the first day of the trip. We're going to leave with about 95% charge. But we want to get to Finlay with 50% uh, charge so we have time to do our tripping around because there are no charge options in Finlay. Okay, a few more settings on a better route planner. We are going to set our units to metric for Australia. We're also going to turn on uh, CCS because um, otherwise it doesn't choose the third party charges. Set our preferences to fewer stops and finally set our consumption to about 150 kilowatts per one hour per kilometre, which is what a Model 3 long range does. So let's take a look. It's choosing a route as expected along the Hume Highway all the way to around Wagga and then branching off to secondary roads to get to Geraldry and Finlay. First stop is five minute charging at Goulburn and then keeping along at that's a Tesla supercharger and then going along to um, Gundagai for another 17 minute charge followed by a 44 minute charge at Geraldry and getting to Finlay. So let's head on our way. As we approach Goulburn, we realise we have enough charge to skip that charger, so we're going to go straight on to Gundagai. We get to Gundagai with 14%. So pushing the car to the limit and it's uh, 34 degrees so it's a hot day already. The food at Gundagai Tesla stop is not great. We're charging up nicely, it's 34 degrees and we think we're going to go to 95% because this, the rest of the charging after this is slower charges. It's pretty busy, this is New Year's Day so it's a busy hot day in Gundagai and we're off again. Get to Geraldry, it's a single NRMA charger, 50 kilowatts, nice little spot next to the lake. So we take our time and relax while we charge up as much as we can because we've, we've got to survive until we get back to Geraldry a few days later. But let's see how much we actually need. So we're going to go back into a, bit, a better route planner and we're going to set our rough plan for the next couple of days. We're going to go down to Finlay, out to an area called Tuple down to Tokemore and then because Geraldry is the only fast charge around we've got to get back to Geraldry so let's that that's our little plan for the next couple of days and as you can see we need to go from 95 to 65 percent so we'll need 30 percent charge at least to do that counting for 20 percent buffer we'd need at least 50 percent and so we end up charging to 71 percent to give us plenty of buffer get to Finley and we're all good, we're about 63%. Finley, the food is improving. Very nice snitchel, lovely. Next morning, still at 63%. 
And guess what I look at when I look around the hotel? Guess what I find? 20 amp that, uh, plug. So even in non-marked places, there are charging options. I don't have the plug for this with me, so no good to me. Get down to Tokemo, and even the, the food is getting even better. At the Tokemo Hotel, we find an, a power outlet near the barbecue, which is right near where we're parking the car. So in the rule of ABC, always be charging, we decide, let's charge up. We've got here about two o'clock in the afternoon. We've got all day and all night to charge up and get up to a really high state of charge. And there we are, the car's looking a bit dusty, but she's still working. We're at 47%. We're only pulling down two kilowatts because I've downtuned it, so we've, we're going to take a while to charge. But now it gives us another option to get home. So let's go Tokemo to Taramara and see what a better route planner tells us. We're going to start off at 100%. This says we can get all the way back home by just charging for 43 minutes at Gundagai. We've got a couple of bailout options. There's charges along the way, although this was back in New Year's Day, so Victoria potentially could, be, could have been locked off for us. But we might try something different. We're going to say it, stop at Tarkata for the third party EV charges. So we're still charging. Let's go enjoy the afternoon and then tomorrow we're off driving. And here we are. So we get to Takara. There's two charges, one's not working, so we're down to one. But it's a pretty good location next to the service station and we have lunch. We don't fully charge up, we just have enough charge as it took for lunch. Pull into Goldwyn for the final quick charge, and we're not the only one at Goldwyn either. into Sydney and home. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll produce a few more. Thank you.